Boys and girls, this is Mrs. Sutton. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but this is your last full week of school. The finish line is so close. Um, so I am gonna be posting a video today on Monday. I may post something, uh, maybe even a video on Wednesday. Um, I don't know that I'll post the last couple of days of school. I haven't decided yet, but um, this is your last official full week with our schedule. So yay. Um, just a couple of like housekeeping things to go over. Uh, Casey at the bat, that entire hyperdoc, I will start checking on Wednesday the 10th. So it's due Wednesday. Today's only Monday. So if you've turned it in already, awesome. If you haven't turned it in, you still have a few days. Um, I'll still check obviously after Wednesday. Um, I would really, really ask just um, kind of selfishly on my end, if you could get it in on the 10th, and here's why. Um, we do have to still finalize our grade books for first, second, third, fourth quarter. Um, so I actually have to start working on that. So the sooner you can turn it in and if you can get it the closest to that, that due date, that would be awesome. And um, please make sure you click the turn in feature. It just prompts me from my end with Google Classroom. So Casey at the bat is due on Wednesday. I'm actually going to start talking to you now about our last assignment for the year. So looking at fourth quarter, if you look in school tool, you'll see that you have certain projects or activities that were graded. So if I'm looking at my list, it's the Art of Argument Hyperdoc 1, Art of Argument Hyperdoc 2, All Summer in a Day Hyperdoc, Casey at the Bat Hyperdoc, and then this activity, which I'm actually sharing with you on my screen right now. And I'm going to go into present mode, so you might still see my face, you might not. We'll have to wait and see. I do apologize in the background, my niece is watching Gumball, so if any of you um, recognize any of the voices or sounds, it would be that. All right, so drum roll, please. That was a really bad drum roll, but this is your last assignment for the year. Um, I am asking you to do something that I actually haven't done with students since I taught eighth grade, and it's a letter to yourself. It's that simple. Um, I actually want you to talk about you, but to you. And I know that sounds really weird. So how I've set this up, this won't take you very long at all. At least it shouldn't, because you're talking about you. Um, but I have designed just some directions or kind of parameters to help you. So what's our purpose of this assignment? So it says, well, for this assignment, you are to write a letter to your future self. I plan on holding on to these letters in a safe spot and returning them to you when you graduate. I know you think that five years is not that far away, but it's, it's gonna be right around the corner. It's, it's not a lifetime from now. So you are the class of 2025. Um, so kind of think about where you're at now with life, where you maybe would like to see yourself through the rest of middle school and then on into high school. So the purpose of this assignment is just to give a record of your life and who you are now. What are your current views now, your attitudes, your philosophy, like how do you perceive the world around you? Um, think about your own opinions, uh, your feelings about things. I mentioned that in our Google Meet last week when we were talking about the whole pandemic. Some of you have some very strong opinions about what's going on in our world right now. Voice those. I would like to see you five years from now kind of look back at the person you were in seventh grade and see how you are and who you've evolved into. Um, so I know this sounds kind of cheesy, but either look into your phone in selfie mode or look into a mirror and just kind of look at yourself and say, okay, who am I? Like, what makes me me? Besides maybe just like your physical attributes, um, just like we talk about characters in a novel, we always focus on what they look like. Um, but look at more like actions, thoughts, feelings, your emotions. Um, I put down these topics because as you know, Mrs. Sutton would not be an English teacher if I didn't give you a little focus and a little guidance. So things to consider, who are you now? What are things that you like to do? What are things that you don't like to do? Um, how do you perceive the world around you? And when I say the world, it could be family, could be your small, like your little, your nuclear world around you, could be your community. And then you could think about it a little more global as just as far as how you fit in being a 12 or 13 year old in the year 2020. Um, what are some of your favorite things to do, eat, uh, see, watch, play? Who are the people in, in your life currently that you feel have made an impact on you. Obviously, and I hope that most of you maybe would kind of go towards uh, the positive people who have influenced you, but maybe you have experienced something that's been kind of sad or upsetting, but that has actually shaped 
who you are today and the person that you are. And then just finally, what do you see for your future? And I don't mean like necessarily, what do you want to be when you grow up? Because if you ask Mrs. Sutton in seventh grade, she wanted to be an interior designer. It's true. That's what I did my career fair project on. Um, obviously, that's not what this has turned into. But it's kind of funny because now when I think about my future, I still am involved in the arts. I love to draw. I love to paint. I love to design. I really like Pinterest. Pinterest was like made for a person like me. So in a way, I still get to do those things that I had interest in even as a seventh grader. So again, back to Mrs. Sutton being an English teacher, you know I wouldn't give you a writing assignment without a graphic organizer. And before you're like, oh, really, Mrs. Sutton? Look, I'm just putting this on here for you to kind of guide your thoughts. If you notice, I have over here, just type or jot down notes about any ideas or things that apply to you. There's a lot going on over here. I don't expect you to answer every single one of these. Please don't. But maybe just pull out a couple. You could even highlight the ones that you're like, yeah, I could talk about that. Yeah, I could talk about that. And then over here, maybe jot down some ideas. Or if you want to write them on paper, um, that would be fine, too. So if you take a look, things to consider. So who are you now? Your hopes, your fears, um, what bothers you, what you like, um, your world. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Think about your immediate world, like just your environment that you're in on a daily basis. And then maybe try to start thinking a little bit outside of that realm. Um, it's a little hard to see here, but oop, I got ahead of myself. Um, just some other things that you like. So any books maybe that you read this year, um, music that you're really into. Um, I'm telling you guys way too much, but when I was in seventh grade, um, this boy band, New Kids on the Block, was just coming out. Um, so that would be something that I would have to include if I was writing a letter to myself in middle school. Um, but I think by the end of middle school, I was listening to like House of Pain jump around. It's quite a shift from a boy band to that. Anyway, I digress. Here's one more graphic organizer, just what you like to do, the people in your life, and then your future. So again, these are all guiding thoughts, questions, um, that you can just jot down over here, but I do not expect that in your letter you address all of these. So, oh, I gotta come up for air. Um, you've already seen this because I accidentally sneak previewed. So I'm hoping at this point in your educational career, a teacher has talked to you a little bit about writing a formal letter. Um, I love that while we've been out on this pandemic, some of you have actually written me notes, which is awesome. Um, you know, letter writing, I hope never goes away. Now we just kind of call it email. So it's pretty similar. Um, you do have kind of a stricter format, though, because some of you I've noticed when you write me emails, sometimes you put the whole message in the subject. Sometimes you don't give me a greeting. I've even had the greeting of, yo, Mrs. Sutton. That's probably not OK. But anyway, um, for a formal letter, you want to have a heading. So in your heading, you would just include your address and the date that you're writing it. So where you currently live now and then the date that you type this. Then you want to have a greeting. Well, in this case, in this case it's going to be dear me or you could be dear self. Um, and then you always follow with a comma. So then you've got your body of your letter. Now, here's the thing. You, if you've done this correctly, slides five and six, you've actually jotted down ideas of what you want to talk about with yourself. Um, you'll notice in this graphic that I have here, it only shows, it looks like maybe two body paragraphs. Um, so that's fine. Um, I'm not asking for this to be five pages long. I'm just really asking for you to be thoughtful in this. Um, I think you'll see why, but you won't realize it until about Mm, 2025. And then finally, you always close a letter. So sincerely, fondly, yours truly, whatever you want to come up with. And then finally, you could do your signature, which if you wanted to, you could just find like a cool cursive font to have your rock star signature at the bottom. Um, so that's your format of your letter. So you're just taking your notes from these slides here from five and six. And then you're jotting them in a more formal setting. Well, Mrs. Sutton, where am I going to type that? I'm so glad you asked. Um, so if you look at this slide here, I'm going to be attaching and making a copy of a Google Doc for you. Um, so you're just going to type right in that Google Doc. Do me a favor. Make sure you use the doc that I've actually attached in Classroom. I want it linked back to my drive. That's how I'm going to find your letters in a few years. Um, I don't care what font you pick. Just as always, would you pick a font that's like 12 to 14? Something that has upper and lower case would be great. And then can you just make sure that the doc, the name of the doc, has your name? 
Um, it should. If, if I've made a copy for you, your name should appear, um, but just make sure it has like Dear Future Self and your name appears there. If I name the doc correctly, that should already be done for you. Um, and then you're just going to submit this. This is kind of like a hyperdoc. So you're going to turn in both the doc and this slide presentation, and I will know that you're done with your final assignment for seventh grade, which I still cannot believe that I am saying those words. Um, like Kylie Gannon mentioned it the other day in our Google Meet, this year has flown by. It was already going at a pretty good clip, but um, our sense of time is so skewed uh, after what has transpired here. And then finally, you guys know, I hope by now you know Mrs. Sutton well enough to know that I am not afraid to throw shade at myself nor laugh at myself. So I wanted to finish this presentation to you guys, complete with an embarrassing photo of Mrs. Sutton, middle school age. So class of 2025, in the near future, senior year, I will return your letters to you. It has been my honor and my pleasure being your ELA teacher this year. She's getting emotional. Please keep in touch. Sometimes it feels like I was in seventh grade not that long ago as a student, although let's face it, it was a long time ago. And it's crazy where time does go, but I look forward to seeing the young adults that you evolve into. So please know that even though we won't be meeting every week, um, my email always works. You can check in with me. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, but sorry, I'm not going to accept any other requests on, say, like the Instagram. Um, but I would love to hear from you guys. I have a couple other things in store for you later this week, so please make sure that you check back on Wednesday. All right, Mai, you want to come over? Come on over. There's somebody who would like to say hello to you because she's been listening to me talk to this camera. So you're going to look right there at the square right there. You see yourself there. Can you want to say hi to the kids? Hi. This is Myla. Are right, you want to say bye to them? Bye. <laughs> and there you have it. So please, good luck on your last assignment for me. Be thoughtful. That's all I'm asking for with this assignment. And I will talk to you guys later this week. Bye.